Roisin Lonergan and in 2007 I set up the Five Lamps Arts Festival um, with the support of Dublin City Council. The reason that I set it up was that I um, am a teacher and I work in the North Strand and the in northeast inner city and um, I realized that uh, some of the residents were living very close to places like the Abbey Theatre or the National Concert Hall but they weren't uh, going to them the same way that I would go to them. And so um, I felt that um, as I work in the arts, I'm a theatre drama teacher, um, I felt that I could do something to maybe uh, bring the arts into the area. So I set up the, the Arts Festival in 2007 and it's been going on from that, that time um, up to now. So what do we do? Well. It's a community arts festival and it's based in the northeast inner city. Um, the Five Lamps is uh, the sort of the central area. So we do activities from everywhere from Mountjoy Square down to the dock, Docklands and over to East Wall. Um, so, my name is Marcella Perducci and I'm the project manager of the Five Lamps Arts Festival. So, this year we produced a play, uh, it's a new play by Peter Sheridan called Philo and it's, um, we had two weeks in the Shannon Casey, it was a great attendance and then we have it again in the Viking Theatre. Um, one activity that we've developed in the last three years is uh, a walking um, tour. Uh, because of COVID, of course, we haven't done that many in the last two years, but um, some of the brochures for the, for the walking tours are here. So we've concentrated on places like the North Wall, um, the Dublin Port, uh, Dorset Street, Sean McDermott Street. And of course, um, we have one um, very important person that lived in, um, uh, the area, Bram Stoker, who wrote Dracula, and uh, we have a booklet that was developed um, by some of the uh, uh, people that are involved in this project. So Hugo McGuinness is the historian um, who developed the Bram Stoker booklet, and he's also done a booklet about um, the Monto area, particularly uh, James Joyce in Nighttown, the Eumaeus um, episode. Uh, the other uh, booklets, this one here, the Sean McDermott Street one, that's developed by a historian called John uh, Seary. And then um, again, we have Dublin's Deep Sea Port. And this area is is all about uh, the, the port. Um, Hugo McGuinness is the historian on this one and Hugo uh, in in the booklet uh, looks at some of the places and the people that have disappeared from the area but are still in the folk memory um, and uh, you can go on a walking tour using these this booklet which is which is great. Other um, things that we've done over the years are things like um, art exhibitions this summer we had an art exhibition in the CHQ, which is the Custom House uh, Quarter uh, big building. And um, we, we had an exhibition there of work by three women artists who live in the area. Lara Pittman lives in East Wall, 
Rebecca Kehoe lives just off the North Strand and Catherine Sankey lives on the North Strand. So these three artists are female, they, they live in the area and their work um, doesn't absolutely concentrate on the area, but um, certainly Rebecca's work, uh, she, she photographed uh, people and places in the area. And then um, what she did was she uh, drew the photographs so um, we're still exhibiting some of that work because we blew up the, the drawings and uh, hung them on, the, on Connolly House uh, College um, in the North Strand. And there you'll find uh, a drawing of Jerry Fay and Mark Fay, who are uh, shopkeepers on several place they have a corner shop called the KA father and son and there's a beautiful drawing of them blown up and hanging um, on on the north strand in the memorial park right beside the college there's another drawing of musa who's a mechanic um uh, originally from africa but uh, a resident and um an employer in uh, his workshop he's a mechanic uh, there on on north strand and then there's a, a large uh, drawing of um, what Imelda Marcus must have loved, um, uh, shoes over in uh, the charity shop in North Strand as well. So there's just a mixture of things. Um, we work with a lot of different dance artists. So usually we bring dance workshops to schools and youth centres in the area. We are planning a big project for next year where we're going to bring uh, six weeks of tasting uh, classes for children with different kind of dance and then you see the ones that are accepted by the community and then have a long term project in the area. Okay. Um, we work with uh, John Scott, um, choreographer. Uh, in different projects. We've been working with him for years and uh, we commissioned him for a new piece for next year as well. That would be a partnership between him and uh, Brazilian dancers to create um, a piece that brings Brazilian Irish culture together in a dance. Um, might be a 45 minutes piece, we don't know yet, but very excited about that one. So we also do lots of e events for children. We have workshops throughout the year in arts, poetry workshops, uh, short story competitions, um, dance uh, classes. And this coming year, we're going to be doing a big project with an artist called Sarah Flynn. Sarah is going to be working with young uh, female um, teenagers from uh, Swan Youth Services and her work is going to be concentrated on uh, how young women disappear from uh, open spaces in the city um, as they get older. When they're younger they're playing in the playground and then when they're 14 or 15 it's mostly boys that you'll see in playgrounds or open spaces and um, Sarah's project is about reclaiming those spaces. It's an art and sport project mixed together. Uh, in the, in the, the Five Lamps, we do a huge amount of work around sports and arts together, particularly um, when we look at uh, Brazilian sports, because we're trying to get um, a sort of interaction between uh, young Brazilians and young Irish people. So to that end, we have set up capoeira classes. Capoeira is a type of um, dance, but it's also um, a, a martial art that was developed by the slaves in South America. Um, and, and they've brought it over here and it's a wonderful um, uh, it's a wonderful way for young people to find out about Brazilian culture. So we have capoeira classes in schools, youth services, and there are also adult classes and jiu-jitsu and Afro-Brazilian dance. So that's some of the things that we do. So we help Fernanda Ferrari, who is a Brazilian artist, to apply to the Arts Council and she was awarded award with the grant to develop a new technique of puppetry and then she developed um, 
videos for us that is um, called The Magic Box and is available on our YouTube channel and um, children can uh, learn how to make their own magic box and tell the stories and you know create their own world. We also have the Gemma and Levy with her application for the Arts Council and she got the, as well the grant and she's been working with the festival for the last years and um, we we're very happy to see her career blossoming. <laughs> so um, there are, there's a lot of talent in the area and um, for, first of all I just want to show you this uh, beautiful um, painting of uh, the five lamps and this is done by an artist called Tara Kearns. Tara is a recent graduate from the IADT. She's from Oriel Street, just off Sheriff Street. And Tara's mission in life is to bring people into this area to show them that there's other things happening apart from what the media um, hang on to, like it, that it's a no-go area and all of that kind of stuff. Um, other uh, stories that have come out of the area, for instance, here um, we have a children's book called I Remember. And this is about growing up um, on the north side in the Docklands area. It's written by an, uh, a, a writer called Neve Gleeson and uh, she's got, it's illustrated by um, Ruth Ryan. So this is a story of a child and a granny and the, the granny is remembering her life way back in, in long ago times um, and what it was like to live in the flats in around um, Shera Street. They're, they're, all, they're gone a long time now. And the sort of things that she could see from her window, you know, the, the docks, the, the goods coming in, and um, also things that you would never probably see today, where an elephant is lifted off a ship and brought into Dublin port and then on down to, to the zoo. Um, we have lots of children's events, as I said, and uh, we have a great artist who's illustrated our walking tour guides. His name is uh, John Ruddy, and John has done lots of uh, creative uh, books for children for the festival. So we have a Five Lamps Arts um, Christmas book, and we have a Five Lamps Arts activity book. Our latest project is a large mural of exciting uh, sports stars who've come from the area and um, it's on the side of Sheriff Youth Club. It was um, painted with the support of the young children from the After Schools Project in Sheriff Street and um, a group of artists painting uh, sporting heroes from the northeast inner city. Another big project we are working for the last two years, but unfortunately COVID came and couldn't go to forward her, um, is the musical. So we get producer come to us and uh, apply for the Arts Council. We got the grant to produce a musical about the area. And uh, it's written by Arthur Reardon <laughs> and uh, the music's by Fionn Foley. And uh, we are waiting uh, to be able to go back to have contact with people <laughs> so we can have the engagement, you know, the community engagement that is part of the the project. So that's going to be for 2022, like the second semester, 2022. We're supported by Dublin City Council, the North East Inner City, the Arts Council and Forest na Gaelica. Um, the uh, really important thing is that Groups like ourselves uh, get a platform through the PPN and we're very grateful to be members of the PPN and the supports that, that they offer.